One local business owner is hoping to get some relief after multiple attempts to contact Kentucky Unemployment over an overpayment issue. Mountain Top News was there. Most of it has just been the nightmare of this and trying to deal with $7,000 hanging over my head and knowing that come next year when I file my taxes, I ain't going to have it. For Apple Blossom florist owner Maggie Hurst, rebounding from the recent COVID-19 shutdown hasn't been so easy. Since April, Hurst says she filed for unemployment after her business was shut down for three months. Now she says the government is asking for that money back. It started when I got this first letter, and that was July the 29th. And I was trying to find out what was going on at that point because I just had a bad feeling and I called them and left them a message and they got back, you know, trying to find out what was going on. That was on April the 19th. And then I've called every day, three or four different phone numbers, can't get anybody, can't get any answers. I've spoken with several different people from the government trying to find out, you know, where I can go or give me some other kind of phone number I can contact, never get an answer. I've written two letters that were asked for out of this and I don't even know if they got the letters because I've never gotten an answer back or any kind of response. Here at Pikeville Medical Center's Heart and Vascular Institute, we have assembled a comprehensive team of cardiac specialists bringing expertise from all regions of the nation and the world. We have coupled that with cutting edge technology providing them the best equipment and operating rooms available. The result is comprehensive cardiac care for the people of our region that is second to none. The Heart and Vascular Institute at Pikeville Medical Center. And while Hearst says her business isn't essential, she has reached out to state and local leaders but hasn't received a response. Additionally, she says letting people go from her business as a result is devastating. I just hope they realize that people are still hurting. I mean, small businesses are not able to sustain themselves right now because other people don't have the money to spend with you. And I mean, I know my business, like I said earlier, is a non-essential business. But if I lose my business, the town loses another business. That's money I spend in town with our local businesses to help the community and keep it from losing anything else. We've been here for 30 years. I don't want to lose it. My parents wouldn't want to see me lose it. And just having something else hanging over my head that I can't solve or even ask a question about is just mentally exhausting. Mountaintop reached out to state officials for comment. They hope to have the issue resolved within two weeks. Reporting from Elkhorn City, Kentucky, for Mountaintop News, I'm Joel Cordial.